Jaden. What y'all talking about? It's like, um, she, she, um, we was talking about. She? Jaden is a she? You just said she. I meant he. Okay. Jaden isn't a she. Uh, that was you just said. You just said she. He's a he. He. You saw him. You I saw know. Him. I know who Jaden is, but you just said she. But it's a he. Okay. Tasha and welcome back to my channel this is the single mother's life and today we are going to talk about support systems. any of you watching me right now you feel like you don't have a support system you feel like there's nobody there to encourage you to help you to inspire you to motivate you but I am here to change your minds on today I am here to let you know of a better way than to depend on people as uh, for support. If you're thinking right now that you don't have a support system, then stay tuned because hopefully by the end of this video, I have changed your perspective. Shall we begin? You don't know my story and my testimony. I'm a single mother of a 10 year old boy. We recently moved to Austin a, a little over a year ago. When I moved here to Austin from Alabama, I didn't know. I didn't know where childcare was going to come from. I didn't know, you know, how I was going to do it being here alone, no family, no friends. I didn't know a soul here. All I knew is that God placed it on my heart to move to Austin, Texas. And I knew that he was going to take care of me. If he gave me the vision, he's going to give me the provision. And with provision, that means everything you need. That means um, people around you in the right time. That means encouragement. That means motivation. That means all of it. God has it and he's going to give it to you if he gives you the vision. Let's start with God's word. So Psalm 118.8 says, It is better to trust in the Lord than to trust in man. When you walk around saying that you don't have a support system or when the devil places it in your mind and your heart that you don't have a support system, what you're really saying is that you can't, don't have people that you can depend on to help you with your children, to help you, you know, in your life. Based on Merriam-Webster, a support system is a network of people who provide an individual with practical or emotional support. Sometimes we think people are supposed to give us things. I think sometimes we think that people are supposed to be there. I think sometimes we think the world owes us something, but in reality, the world don't owe us anything. You know, when, when my son's father was killed, I was kind of upset. I was kind of mad at his family, my son's father's family, because they wasn't helping me. They wasn't supporting me. They wasn't reaching out to ask about how my son was doing, to ask if my son needed anything. I was kind of upset. But God had to deal with me on that. He had to let me know, like, hey, it's not their responsibility to reach out to you to ask you do you need help, to ask you how your son is doing. It's not their responsibility. Yes, that's their family, but 
they didn't bring him into this world. I did. And even though his father is not here anymore, I still have a responsibility. I can't depend on anybody to help me, to encourage me, to motivate me, to inspire me. I can't do that. The only thing I can do is look to God and trust and believe that God is going to place the right people in my life at the right time. I'm going to trust and believe that God is going to send a word of encouragement, a word of inspiration that I need at the right time. I'm going to trust that God is going to give me wisdom, that God is going to fill me up, that God is going to set my feet on a rock. I'm going to believe that. And since I've been to Texas, guess what? God has been doing that. No one is entitled to give you practical or emotional support. No one is entitled to help you or to support you. Yeah, it takes two to bring a child into this world. However, you can't make someone do what they don't want to do. For example, your, your child's father. You can't make your child's father be in your children's life if he don't want to be there. You just got to let that man go on by his business and let God take care of that and trust and believe that God handles that. No person can get away with bringing a child into this world and not supporting that child. God handles that. You cannot handle that. You are only a human being. So you cannot get angry. You cannot give someone the power of bringing you down because they don't support you. So that's what you're doing when you get discouraged and say you don't have a support system. You came into this world alone and your job is to look to the Father for your support. Because God is the source. God is the source and you get your resources from God. My faith in God is so strong that I draw my strength from God. I draw my encouragement from God. I draw my support from God. My bills are paid every month and nobody give me one red cent. Nobody. No, people barely call to check on me and my son. God gave me a friend. He gave me a good friend and she's not even here. She's back in Alabama. You got to ask God for strength and stop looking to the world and stop looking to people. Nobody helped me do anything that I need to do but God. But God, because I only look to God. Now, trust God worked through people. He used people's words. He used the hands of people to bless you. But you cannot look to people for support. You cannot look to people for support because when you look to people for support, you're going to always get thrown under the bus because people are unreliable. We are all unreliable in sometimes in some ways because we are human and we are imperfect. The only perfect person is Jesus Christ who connects us with the Father, the source, who is God. This is your first time here. You haven't seen any of my videos. Then I would definitely um, suggest that you check out um, my single mother's journey to see you know, what I've been through, what I've overcame, and why my faith in God is so strong, why I don't put my faith in people anymore. I'm going to link it up here in the cards uh, and down here in the description bar. Ladies, single mothers, we have to stop depending on people so much. We have to stop looking around us and fix our eyes above. So going back to God's word, Jeremiah 17, 7 says, But blessed are those who trust in the Lord and have made the Lord their hope and confidence. They are like trees planted along a riverbank with roots that reach deep into the water. Such trees are not bothered by the heat or worried by long months of drought. Their leaves stay green and never stop producing fruit. So again, God tells us that it's better to put our trust in him than to put our trust in man. And then he turns around to Jeremiah and says that blessed are those who trust in the Lord. And he lets you know that you'll be like a tree planted by a riverbank with roots that reach deep into the water. So let's think about this tree. So this tree is planted by the source. It's planted by the source, which is a riverbank. And its roots grow, go down into the ground and it's connected to that riverbank. When there's heat, scorching heat, or when there's a drought, that tree is not worried because guess what? 
it's connected to the source. That tree is not worrying about people who's not watering it. <laughs> I'm stuck. <sighs> what is that tree not worrying about? So let's think of you as that tree. If you were to draw your source from the true and living God, then you would not be worrying about who's around you who's not supporting you. You will always bear fruit regardless of who supports you and who doesn't if you draw your strength and your encouragement from the source and who is the source again god is the source god is the source so since i've been here in texas i've done so much through my faith in god i've gotten my real estate license i have a a, a credit repair business. I encourage single moms and single women. And I couldn't do any of that on my own. I wrote a book all through the strength of God. I moved two states over, 10 hours away from my family, from my friends, from, from my life that I knew. I moved 10 hours away to a brand new state. And yes, I was kind of worried about support, but my faith in God was stronger. I knew that God's word outweighed my feelings. I knew that if I took a step, then God was going to push me along three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more steps because I step out in faith because I trust him. Now, when I first moved here, of course, I had my you know my issues when i was homesick i was missing my family and i still miss my family sometimes but hey that gives me another opportunity to go and travel and see them so you have to draw your support from god you have to draw your support from the creator of all things god has the ability to send people in your life Send people in your life at the, at the last minute when you think you can't take anymore, when you think you have to talk to somebody, when you feel like you're about to break. God will send that one person into your life. He'll send that one word of encouragement into your life and re-strengthen you. But you have to depend on him. You can't depend on people. And this goes for, for single moms who have two, three, four, five, six. It don't matter how many kids you have. God is powerful. He's, cre he's the creator of all things. He can do all things. But you have to start with focusing your attention on him, depending on him. That's where you have to start. You can't start by saying, okay, well, they're not supporting me, so I'm going to go over here and see if they will support me. No, you're looking all around. You're looking all around. Well, you, should, you should be looking up. You should be looking up to the Father and allow Him to pour into you and allow Him to send the right people into your life and allow Him to let the resources flow into your life that you need because He promised that He will supply all of our needs. So single moms, it don't matter what you are in life. It don't matter who's not supporting you. It don't matter how many kids you have. It don't matter if your baby daddy not helping you take care of your kids. It don't matter. So stop trying to make people support you. Stop trying to make people help you do what you're supposed to be doing. You're wasting time. You're wasting time. You're wasting energy. You're wasting emotional energy. You're wasting your life away and giving your power away. So let's be like that tree by the riverbanks who always bears fruit. And think about this also, your kids are your fruit. Your kids are your fruit. So you have to be connected to the source so you can, your kids can always receive the good things, the nourishment from you as a parent, as a mother. So if you're walking around focusing on what you don't have, such as a support system, then it's going to show. It's going to show. You're thinking lack. And we don't think that. We, we live in abundance. We live in abundance. Because we want our kids to walk in abundance. We don't want our kids to grow up in lack. 
So even if you don't believe, even if you don't believe it, you gonna think it until you believe it. You gonna talk to God until you believe it. You gonna get in that word and read His word until you believe it. You gonna ask God to help you with your doubt until you believe it. Because He's there, and I'm a living witness. I only have one child. But even if I had five, even if I had ten, I'll still make a way. Whether he support me, whether she support me, whether they support me, I don't care who don't support me. I know who do support me, and he is the creator of all things. Let's stop focusing on what we don't have. Let's stop focusing on the people who's not there. And let's focus on the one who is there. And I promise you, I promise you that at the right time and at the right season, God will bring all things that you need in abundance so that you are self-sufficient, so that at all times you have what you need for your kids and for others. I promise you that. If you allow me, I'm going to um, say a prayer for all single moms on here who don't feel like they have a support system, who don't feel like they have you know, the people around them that they need to to get to where God is trying to take them. I want to bind that right now in the name of Jesus. So, Father God, Holy Spirit, I thank you so much for, for using my voice, to using me as a vessel to speak to your, your women, Lord, your, your daughters, Lord. And Father, I pray right now, God, that you forgive each and every one of us of all of, all of our sins, for we all have fallen short of your glory. So, Father God, I, I ask that you strengthen everyone who's at the sound of my voice. I ask, Father, that you help them to stop looking outward and start looking inward where you dwell on the inside of them, Father. And, Father, I ask right now that if anyone has not accepted your son, Jesus Christ, Father, I ask that, Father God, if, if receiving, Father, I ask that you change their heart and their minds, Father. And allow them to receive your son as their Lord and Savior. I ask that they live by your word for the rest of their days, Father. And I ask, Father, that you show them who you are. Remove any doubt and unbelief and fill them up, Father. And help them to set their eyes on you and not on things of this world. Because you are the author and the finisher. You are our provider. You, Father God. Are our creator and you can supply everything that we need at all times so that we have more than enough to give to others so father i thank you and i love you i bless you and i ask you father to help your daughters bless your daughters and keep your daughters strengthen your daughters keep their eyes on you in your name jesus i pray amen so, ladies, I bless you all, and I thank you so much for tuning in uh, to this video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It helped me to grow my channel. I am trying to, I have a goal to where I'm trying to reach a 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2020, and I can't do that without you. So, if you haven't subscribed, and if you don't know if you're going to subscribe yet, then... Check out these videos and the card that, cards that you may like. I'm sure they will inspire, inspire you and encourage you. So check out those videos and hopefully you'll be on made your mind up by then. But please subscribe, like, and share. Help me to grow the channel so I may reach other single mothers. I love you all and I will see you in my next video.